All right, darling, I'm banging out another one for you. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's come into child's pose today. So taking your time just to ground yourself. So in child, so big toes come together to touch. And then sit bones come down to meet your heels, walk your fingers out in front of you. Giving yourself that opportunity to just ground and root in. Give some gratitude for the earth while you're here. your upper body and your lower body. Be nice and heavy. Like the earth is calling you in. Nice deep inhale here. And exhale. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. Last one, big inhale. And exhale. Coming into a space of gratitude. Give gratitude for this earth. Her ability to hold us through all of our grief, our self-doubt, the joy, the abuse, being mindful about how we give thanks and how we give back. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Give gratitude for the indigenous peoples of the lands that we're seated upon. We're here in Salish, Kootenai, Pend Oreille, and Blackfeet tribes. Big inhale. And exhale. give gratitude for this practice and for black and brown people as the original creators and the folks who have sustained this from a space of non-violence and non-harming both on and off the mat. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves for doing the work to release and let go to reroot in a space of innate goodness love generosity kindness balance nice deep inhale And exhale. And if there's a person or persons, place or places that you feel that you like to dedicate your practice to today, you can take the time to send love and healing energy their way. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale slowly, let the hands walk back towards you. Maybe kind of shift back and forth side to side, opening up through hips. Let's come into thread the needle from child. So take the left hand a little bit beyond the face, I'll marry you. 
take your right hand up to the sky and then thread the needle come down onto that shoulder hold here big inhale turn and twist through the torso exhale two more big breaths big inhale And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, press into the palm, lift yourself back up. Sweep that arm high. Same thing on that opposite side, swap out your hands. Left hand comes high to the sky, big inhale. Exhale, flip the palm. Come down onto that shoulder. Reach to the fingertips. Hold here, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, press into the palm slowly. Drag that hand out, sweep it high. Exhale. The torso back down to the earth shift yourself forward come into a tabletop shift back and forth side to side through the hips a little bit just checking in with where you're at today keep your legs strong check in with your back check in with your spine turn and pull your left hip towards your left shoulder shorten on that left hand side a little bit of a cramp there big inhale and then slowly move yourself through center line. Same thing on the opposite side. Pull the right hip to right shoulder. Slowly bring yourself back to center. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. Inhale into cow. And exhale into cat. Go back with that right leg like we did earlier today or in the video yesterday. Pick that right leg up off the mat and reach through the left fingertips. Big inhale. Pull through the fingertips and press through the heel. Fire up through the leg. Engage that right glute and then point the toes and pull. Going round. Inhale out. Exhale, pull. We go for four. For three. For two. And one. Drop down to your knees. Swing that left foot out. Press down through the top of that right foot. Take that hand high, modified gate pose, big inhale. Check in with your hips, right? We have a tendency, you can always kickstand your foot out, but try to get your hips in a nice straight line. Big inhale here. Maybe pull the fingertips towards the front of the room, lengthening through the side body. And then release. Left knee comes down to the mat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. And then inhale back into table. Same thing. Left leg comes back behind. Lift that back left leg. Fingertips on the right hand side, reach out in front of you. Really reach here. Big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, pull, squeeze. Inhale, extension. Exhale, squeeze. We go for four, three, two, and one. And the knee come down to mat, maybe kickstand that foot out a little bit. Right foot extends. Left hand underneath shoulder. Right hand up to the sky. Or you can pull your fingers towards the front of the room and lengthen from the back edge of your right foot to the tips of the fingers. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. Exhale, release. Hand and knee come down to mat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. 
Two more. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Last one. Big inhale. Breathe into your cow. Exhale into cat. Tuck the toes. Float the knees. Pop your hips back and high. Down dog. Nice deep inhale. Find yourself in down dog. Check in with the feet and the hands. Hands are nice and wide. Roll the points of the elbows to look back at you. Upper part of the back stays broad. Low belly pulls up and in. You look up towards the navel. Maybe you pedal out through the feet a little bit. And then go ahead and spot in between your two thumbs. Step, step. Feet come up to meet hands. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs. And then on the next inhale, sweep yourself all the way back up to stand. Or up to stand. And then exhale, hands pull down through heart line. Coming into your intention, right? Things that you're releasing today in your practice and letting go of. What are you making room for? Right? As human beings, we can only hold so much in terms of capacity within our bodies and ourselves, our minds, our spirits um, that keep us in alignment with health. So inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shin, flat back. Exhale, hands drop, right foot steps back behind, press back through the heel. Hold here. Put a little bend in that knee. That front knee is stacked right over that ankle. You're gonna sweep yourself up into a high crescent lunge. Big inhale. Fire up through your right glute. Make sure that that glute doesn't drop here. You want your hips in a nice straight line, your spine in a nice straight line. Big inhale. Exhale, drop your back heel and open yourself up into your warrior two. Keep the bend in the front knee. Power down through both feet, big inhale. And then exhale, turn yourself back. Step back with that left foot. Lower down, inhale, forward facing. And then exhale, pop your hips back and high. Right leg comes high to the sky, three-legged dog. Sweat your right thumb. Step your right foot up to meet your right hand. Pop your left toes out and over. Find your footing and grip with the feet. That right knee is stacked over your ankle. Check in with your hip and fire up that back leg before you pull yourself up into that high crescent lunge. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, inhale. Exhale, drop your back heel, open. Big inhale. Exhale, pivot on the ball of that back foot. Lift that left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over. Inhale, pull yourself back up to stand. Exhale, hands come down to heart line. Same thing, second side, left foot leads. Do what I say, not out of you, I'm not mirroring you this time. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, come down and over. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Left foot steps back behind. Catch your footing first. Check in with the hip, the stack of the hips. On your next inhale, whoop, sweep yourself into that high crescent lunge. Big inhale. Exhale, drop your back heel. Open up into your warrior two. And then pinwheel yourself back down to the mat. Step that right foot back to meet the left. Lower and lift. Big inhale. Breathe into the base of the belly. Roll back and over your big toe of down block. Left leg high to the sky. Spot your left thumb. Step your left foot up to meet your right hand. Right toes hop out and over. Check in with those hips again. Pull back through the left hip. Engage that right leg. Inhale. We sweep ourselves high. Engage your right glute, big inhale. Exhale, drop your back heel and open up. 
into your warrior two. Big inhale, exhale, pivot down. Step that left foot back, lowering and lifting. Exhale, pop your hips back and high. Big inhale. Spot to the outsides of your pinky fingers, bend in the knees and hop. Feet wide. Hands to the inside of the thighs. Kind of like what we did earlier. Big inhale. Fingertips reach. Opposite hand comes high. Slowly shift through center. Same thing on the opposite side. Reach. Fingertips high. Exhale. Bring yourself down. Hands can come back behind you. Both legs can come wide, wide angle forward fold. Flex the toes back towards the face. Lift and shift your seat here. Come onto the front part of your sit bones. Big inhale. And then slowly walk your fingertips out in front of you, coming down and over the inside of your thighs. Relaxing and releasing, letting your sit bones spread, flexing your toes back towards your face. The hinge comes from the hips. Relaxing and releasing on the low part of the glutes, the upper part of the hamstrings. Two more big breaths here, big inhale. And exhale. Come to the end of the breath before you inhale again. And then exhale, keep the chest and belly low. Walk yourself, I'm mirroring you towards your right leg. Left hand outside of right foot. Turn in towards that leg. Nice deep inhale here. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly lift. Walk yourself through center line, same thing on the opposite side. Turn towards that leg. Opposite hand comes to the outside of the foot. Turn and twist. Relax and release through that glute and the cheek. Two more breaths here. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. So then walk yourself back to center. Last time, over the top of the thighs. Let yourself hang heavy here. And then inhale. Pull yourself up. Go ahead and take your hands underneath your knees. I'm gonna shimmy your knees together. Soles of the feet come together. Press the soles of the feet together. Maybe you shift your backside a little bit. Pull forward with the heart and let yourself come down and over the tops of your thighs. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, slowly lift your chest and your heart. Pop your knees to your center line. Take your legs out in front of you. Shift your sit bones back and behind. Let's do one. So pull the knee into the chest and turn towards the bent leg. Hand comes back behind you. You can always prop your seat on a block in this one too. If you're sitting too far back on your sit bones towards your sacrum. And then slowly release. Same thing on that opposite side. Put a bend in that opposite knee. Lift high, pull the knee in towards you and turn and look out past your shoulder. Let's 
slowly release. Both legs out in front. Inhale and tuck. Exhale. Maybe put a bend in the knees as you shift over the tops of the hips. Pull the crown of the head towards the tops of the feet. You can always take your two goose fingers and wrap them around your big toes as you pull the crown of the head forward. Maybe you shift back through your seat. Let your sit bones spread, your tailbone is still tucked, engage your low belly. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk your hands up your shins. Scoot your seat forward. Come all the way down onto your back, coming into your Shavasana. I'll pull the opposite, another card for you today. And then I gotta move into some different readings. Days in Boise, girl. Okay. It's a cute city, though. We should go back and visit it soon when it's warm. Loss and lack, fear and victimization. The woman on this card stands alone in anxious judgment of her life. She focuses on past losses and assumes there are more to come. With her fan of all feathers, she attempts to shield herself from potential hurts, yet the owl on her shoulder can see through her darkness and guide her out of her fear and lack consciousness. The message of this card is clear. No matter what kind of loss you've experienced in the past, it's absolutely necessary to shift your focus now and redefine your power. You are no longer a victim of a threatening world, frightened and unable to direct your own destiny. In fact, since your consciousness creates your reality, this assumption only keeps your energy stuck. The owl encourages you to leave your victim mentality behind and see the truth of your eternal courage and power. When loss comes up in your life, let yourself grieve, but don't define yourself by that experience. Be willing to take charge and set your sights on real situations and new directions. When you take action and view your life with optimism and self-honoring intentions, you become the director of rather than the victim in your own life. This empowered approach may seem strange to you and may not full, you may not fully trust yourself yet, but this card is telling you that you can no longer live in darkness, isolation, and fear. It's time to let go of old patterns of people pleasing and passive acceptance of others' agendas. It's time to take your rightful place as a powerful presence in the world. Affirmation, I let go of feelings of fear and lack. It's safe for me to stand up and make choices that empower me. By Sandra, Ann Taylor, and Kimberly Weber. So reminding ourselves, which is I would think I've been recently, is the fact that shit always works out. It gets fucked up for a little bit, <laughs> right? But it always works out. And that's the eternal pace within the universe telling you that it's here to support you in all life's transitions. We just need to learn to ask for help. And sometimes that space of delivering help comes from the people within our lives, right? And sometimes it comes from magic wonder, right? So having faith in both, the innate goodness in people, right? And also the unknown and the wondrousness of it. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And 
exhale. And when you're ready, you can slowly press yourself over to your right or left hand side into a fetal position and then you can slowly move yourself up into a simple seat. Hands can come to your heart space so they can rest down on your knees. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in you. And all of us in the collective, we thank you, dear Jane, for sharing your practice with me, trusting me with your body, heart, spirit, and soul. And to that, I say go in peace. And remember to serve love always. Peace and love, babe. I'll see you soon. Poop.